What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Jacksonville Jaguars versus Indianapolis Colts Week 5 NFL matchup going down Sunday, October 6, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Indianapolis Colts. The Jacksonville Jaguars... Uh, coming into this one 0-4 on the year, 2-2 against the number. After ending up with a 24-20 loss on the road at the hands of the Houston Texans in their last matchup, while the Indianapolis Colts 2-2 two two straight up, 3-1 against the number this season after back-to-back -back wins at home. The most recent one, a 27-24 victory over the Pittsburgh Steelers is 2.5 point home dogs in that thing. And give uh, you know give give the Colts credit for, for breaking down that Steelers defense and just taking advantage of, you know, opportune situations. This is, you know, a Colts team that jumped out to a 17-0 lead in that game. Pittsburgh did make it interesting going into the fourth, but again, it was, I think, too little too late as, you know, they could never really get any closer. Uh, Indy, you know, restored the two-score lead. Pittsburgh get it back, and then Indy would respond, and then Pittsburgh would respond. But again, too little too late as they couldn't get the uh, couldn't get the onside kick and couldn't get the stop to, to, to get the ball back. And uh, while Indianapolis got the job done there, it still leaves me scratching my head a little bit with what this team's going to do going forward. Now, Anthony Richardson's banged up. Jonathan Taylor is going to miss this game. So that is huge for this Colts offense because uh, Taylor ran for 88 yards and a touchdown. He's been a big part of this uh, of this Colts offense for, you know, as long as he has you know been around whenever he is on the field. Now, Joe Flacco just seems to be that guy that can step in almost like a Nick Foles where... He can kind of step in whatever role you need him to fill, and he'll just help you win for for whatever reason. But for me here, I think this is just a spot where I'm going to have to plug my nose and take the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jags showed something, showed some fight, in the, even in the loss against the, uh, the Houston Texans. There were multiple points of that game where you could argue they should have won, and they were up, they were up in the final minute of that game, and unfortunately just let it slip away now is trevor lawrence going to be a world beater quarterback absolutely not i think that you know lawrence is, is kind of shifting into the i don't know, like overrated categories the only only word that i can really think of just because there was so much fanfare for him a few years ago and he had the great season when the jags won the division but now it just looks like it's the houston texans time but that being said jacksonville's not going to try to fall to zero and five i mean this is a, a a jacksonville team that's still has some sort of expectation for themselves. And like I said, with, with Richardson being banged up, if he goes and if you don't, if he doesn't go with Joe Flacco here, I think it's going to be hard. I mean, this is still a top 10 Jaguars rush defense. You know, the past defense has been susceptible, but I still think that Jacksonville can hold up here. You know, the, the Jags have been competitive in the majority of their games outside of that Buffalo debacle a couple weeks ago. And, you know, realistically, you know, the Colts haven't necessarily blown anybody away either. This is still the Colts team that lost to a Malik Willis led team, uh, that led Packers team. So for me, I'm going to go with the Jaguars here. I'm going to lay the points in this one. Historically, the Jags have flat out owned the Indianapolis Colts. And I think that's something that they'll kind of, you know, ride to the victory here. So give me the, uh, the Jaguars and the, and lay the field goal here. And that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.